some of my hi guys i'm going to share some of my favorite powerpoint tips and tricks with you um some of the things that i generally do i'm going to come out with a few of these videos as i feel like it makes sense um but these are all things that you can easily do to beef up any of your pre uh, powerpoint presentations especially if you are a teacher so one of the first things that i want to show you is how easy it is to make a super basic like timer um, you can find a timer, you can purchase a timer that goes in PowerPoint slides, or you can just actually make one really easily. So the first thing that you would want to do is you want to go in shapes and pick the circle. And it's not as an oval, we know, um, but just make whatever you think your best circle would be. And then of course, double click it. So format pops up and you always want to make sure that these are the same. So if they're the same, then the width and height are the same. Um, and then you know it's a perfect circle. So let's say it's 1.9. And then let's like color it in. Let's make the, make it black. Or obviously you can do a shape fill and pick whatever color you want. So let's say we picked purple. Now I've been using a 10 second timer in some of my videos. So I'm just going to type 10. And I'm going to place that over it. And let's say I'll make it bigger. I also am going to change to some of my fonts. Guys, if you're not using fun fonts, there's so many free for personal use fonts that you can get. One of my favorite go-tos is KG Blank Space Solid. So I'm just going to make this 10 nice and big. Um, one of my other uh, tips for you, you can make any font a bubble letter font by simply going to format, do text fill white, and then text outline black. And then when you're in text outline, you can go to wait and you can make that much thicker. So guys, you can take any font and basically just make it a bubble letter so that if you print it, kids could, you know, whatever. Now let's say I wanted to make this 10 second timer. I'm gonna fill in the 10 actually with a color so it doesn't totally disappear. Let's pick like that light green. Now, my eyes can tell that this 10 is not perfectly centered. So it's very easy to make it perfectly centered by if you click on one of the objects then hold the control button and then click the other object. Okay, so you have both uh, um, groups together or just simply highlight all of it. If you go to format and then you click align, if you align it to the center, it makes sure that both are centered to each other and then align middle will shift it. And actually I did a really good job, but let me show you if it wasn't aligned. If I had those there and I wanted the 10 smack dab in the center, I would highlight both of these, click align, center it, it just moved it, and then align, put it in the middle. And now that 10 is perfectly in the middle. So now next step, uh, click on the circle and then go to animations. So now that we're in animations, the animation we wanna pick is the one that's called wheel. So this is the top, this is like the original ones, go to wheel, and you'll notice that the duration just defaults to two seconds. We're gonna change that animation to 10 seconds or however long you want it to be. Like I put 10, I want it to be a 10 second animation. And now if I press play um, and I actually show you what my screen would look like, if I click on the screen, it's gonna be a full 10 a minute, 10 minutes timer, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that's actually really awesome. It tells when time, 10 seconds is up. Um, so that's again, pretty cool to me. That's like a, a really easy way to do that. Something else that I want to show you that you can create really easily is a number line. So we're so used to like, you know, using the shape with the arrows at either end. Sorry that I'm kind of going fast, but you can always replay this. That's the beauty of it. And sorry, let me click on that. And we make this arrow and I mean, that's just too small. And you might notice that like your arrow isn't perfectly centered. Like let's say you make one and you're like, that's definitely not horizontal. If you double click on that line guys and here, the vertical alignment, just set that to zero and now it's perfectly horizontal. I'm gonna double click on that. I'm gonna make it black and I'm gonna obviously make it much thicker. Let's say I wanted to make this number line. I'm gonna then go to insert and I'm gonna get my line segment. And let's say I make a good segment here. Again, that's definitely crooked. Double click on it. Make sure that the horizontal here is at zero. So it's perfectly straight. And then hold on to that one and just do control D. Control D, control D, control D. As many times as you want. 
Now, obviously those didn't go where we want them to go. But let's say I know I want my number line to start here and I want my number line to end here. I can use that align tool to help make a perfect number line and I don't have to like adjust each one individually. I'm gonna simply highlight all of my segments that I want. I'm gonna to go to align and there's two things I'm gonna click. The first one is I'm gonna click align to the top. When you do this, all of those separate segments will align to whatever the highest one is. If I click align bottom, all of those segments will go to however low the lowest one is. I want them to go to the top. Okay, now if I want them spread evenly, all of them, it'll spread them evenly now from the one from the left all the way to the one to the right if I do a line distribute horizontally. Number line. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Now, let's say you make this number line and you add some numbers underneath it and you add like a text and you just put one, two, whatever. And you're like, I need to reuse this number line. I don't want to have to redo this again. Just simply highlight the whole thing, right click on it, do save as picture. Now, whenever you select images in PowerPoint and you do save as picture, it's going to auto default to save it as a PNG, which is what you want. You want it to save as a PNG. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to like save this. Sorry, I'm going to save this onto my desktop and I'm just going to simply keep it. You can see my pictures as picture one. Save. It already exists. Okay, fine. Now that we're, all these were separated, right? And remember, if you move something, just go back, go back to the original to insert picture. Go to my uh, desktop rather. That's where I saved it and click on that picture. Now you have just literally created your own clip art. It is that image. I just expanded it, but that's the beauty. Look, here's that image that I had originally. I just made it as a picture. Now it's all grouped together. I can't mess it up and I can zoom in and out. I can make it bigger, smaller. It's now a clip art file. Look, it's transparent. That's what PNG files do. So I would say that that's a pretty awesome feature to do. So between making the timer wheel and making a number line and using all the align tools and seeing how you can make a bubble letter font, I think that's quite a bit for this first little mini episode of my favorite PowerPoint tools for you. Thank you for watching. Bye.